is the Transformers Masterpiece MP18B Blue Streak by Takara Tomy. Uh, I don't know if it's an exclusive in Japan, but I picked this one up at a local hobby shop here in Manila. And this figure is looking great. It is such a phenomenal uh, reuse of this wonderful mold. And before we begin, here is a quick look at the packaging. Fantastic, fantastic colors. G1, they never released a uh, Blue Streak action figure or Transformer. They had this one in Diaclone. So... The, the I think Diaclone series, but they never really had that in G1. They had Silver Streak, which they called Blue Streak in, in the cartoon. So, anyway, Nissan Fair Lady 280Z T is the all mode. So, I'm so glad I held out on buying the Silver Streak version of this mold because I'm really, really liking this Blue Streak mold. Um, Sorry, before we begin with the figure again, here's a look at the collector coin. Not too bad, very nice. Comes with a uh, collector card. I not speak Japanese, so... Get that. And a nice little instructions, uh, set of instructions. Um, tells you very nicely how to transform this figure. And electro bolt for the smaller cannons when you add the cloud buster cannons the big ones right there and his rifle apparently is called the disper disperser rifle oh. so there you go let me just stand him up so we can do some size comparison paint apps on this figure just great i i absolutely love the color scheme on this one i love this deep cobalt blue that they've used i'm not i don't think it's cobalt blue but it's a very deep kind of blue uh, that's been used on this figure very much like the Diaclone uh, Blue Streak figure. Uh, some paint issues, yeah, uh, I, I do have a couple of paint issues right here on on his chest. On his, so there's a little bit of scratching right there, and there's some excess like crazy glue or I don't know super glue that, that dropped on the hood, and then they painted it silver. So it kind of sucks. I don't think I can remove that anymore, but that's okay. That gives him a little bit of personality. Or whatever you might want to think. Um, some the cannons are there. Just look at the blue that they used for this one. We'll see it more in alt mode, but very, very nice all around. It's a nice mold to begin with. I, I love the mold, the fairly Datsun uh, masterpieces. And uh, just for size comparison, here he is with the MP10 mold, the Optimus Prime masterpiece mold. Here's the rest of the gang without Silver Streak because he's now going to be my Silver Streak or my Streak or my Blue Streak instead of Silver Streak. I mean, I do like Prowl and I like Smoke Screen as well, but he's looking to be my favorite right now out of the three. Very, very nice. Well done, Takara Tony. Not sure if Hasbro is going to follow suit and release that, but if they do, it's probably going to be very pricey. So the gun is removable. Can do it like this in alt mode. I'll show you later how to connect that. Articulation for the figure. Uh, it's exactly the same as Prowl. It's got a swivel neck, waist swivel, ball ball hinge, ball jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, ball hinge wrist, uh, swivel wrist, and articulating fingers. Uh, ball hinge hips, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles with the rocker joints. Very nice, wonderful, wonderful figure. All right, let's remove the cannons I didn't get the prowl cannons so, so I'm, I'm happy with these so go ahead and just leave those there for now a little bit of a tricky transformation so if, if you if you haven't seen any of my prowl or blue or my videos on the dot soon masterpiece like prowl or smoke screen you might want to pay close attention how we transform this even i still get confused it's my third datsun masterpiece figure but it's still quite confusing so um let me just see if i can rotate this waist piece beforehand come on man get stuck i don't know why um, see if I can 
yeah, there we go. Rotate the waist piece first because the clearance with that peg is just so small. I don't know why. We'll leave it here for now. Okay, uh, the legs are probably the trickiest bit, so we'll do that first. Okay, go ahead and do that. Fold, just reverse these the pat positions of positions of those panels. Go ahead and colla collapse the whole leg assembly right here, like that. This one goes up like this. Like that, and uh, ugh, sorry. Before you do that, you're gonna want to collapse the knees first, like that. So let's do that. Collapse the knees like that, and then you can go ahead and do that. Make sure this flap goes down so that you can. Collapse that joint right there. Okay, and just peg it on right there. Okay, that's one. That's one leg done. I think. Okay. Why doesn't this one? Okay, there we go. All right, one leg done. As you can see, there is a hinge. There's like a triple rivet hinge or triple hinge right there that will allow you to rotate this foot and uh, just eventually fold it. Okay. Fold it like that. The windshield out and then fold it like that make sure it's flush otherwise you won't be able to do this okay and that's it just join the legs together and there you go that's the back part done okay and then um, we'll do the arms arms they go sideways right like that they fold in like this and they fold as you open up the chest assembly make sure the cannons are, are are straightened out so that when you when you fold this chest assembly like that they don't get in the way then fold the arm the shoulder pieces down it's a little bit tight as you fold this the, the chest piece out okay Fold the torso piece, the abdominal piece down, so you, you'll have enough time to fold the, you'll have enough clearance to fold the head down. Okay, just like that. Okay. Oh, straighten out the head. Okay, fold it back up. Fold the side mirrors out like that. And collapse the windshield and roof just like that uh -huh. go ahead and rotate the arms this way and they do tab in like so okay very nice make sure they're aligned and then the doors They just they just close in and tab in just like that. Mm -hmm. There you go. The Nissan is shaping up very nicely. Oh, um, I wanted to show you the the way the cannons work, the way that the gun blaster hooked on in alt mode. There's like a peg you can use to store it in alt mode like that <laughs> which is fine you know but you know I'm not, I'm not really into that okay go ahead and fold that piece back okay okay 
looking nice. And the last thing you want to do is you want to fold up the entire shoulder and arm assembly. Just like that. Make sure it's flush. And there you go. Oh, did I miss it? There we go. Okay. Plastic tires. Oh. Clearance, it's, it's just the clearance on the wheels that I'm worried about. I have this strange feeling that. Anyway. And then there, those things, they tab into the, to those pegs right there. Let's see if we can do that. Yep. And this thing just keeps popping down. All right. Okay. And there is Blue Streak. In his Nissan Fairlady Z 280ZT alt mode. Very nice. Um, don't know how you can store these, but normally you're not gonna you're gonna put them back in the box and just gonna display it like that. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. Uh, if you did, don't forget to favorite the video, share it, thumbs up. The Transformers masterpiece. MP18B Blue Streak Cybertron Unknown uh, by Takara Tomy. Thanks for watching.